Invasive alien plants are a huge problem in our area and on our campus. With the recent restoration of Honeycutt Creek, we are working to remove alien invasives from near the creek and in the watershed to promote a more natural and native stream community. With your help, we are able to restore an important ecological community right here on Clemson's campus. Please pay attention to this video to briefly learn about what you will be doing today. First, we will discuss plant species, then procedures, and finally, important safety considerations. One of our major invaders is silverthorn. Silverthorn grows in brambly shrubs or can get up to almost tree height. The leaves are dark green and silvery below with brown spots and often feel fuzzy. There are usually thorns on the branches. Chinese privet is another common invasive plant. It has small green leaves that are directly opposite each other on the branch as opposed to alternating. There are many plants we are trying to remove, but also those that we may want to save. If you are unsure of what plants to cut, please ask a project member for assistance identifying the species. The tools and equipment that we will be using include basic cutters, saws, clippers, herbicide mixture, paintbrushes, gloves, and safety glasses. There will be teams of three to four, and on each team there will be a cutter, dragger, and painter. Rotating jobs throughout your shift is encouraged. The cutter, wearing gloves, will cut the plant close to the base. Be sure to keep track of the freshly cut stems to point out to the painter. Do not move too fast for the painter. The painter will use a paintbrush to apply the herbicide to the freshly exposed stem immediately after the cut has been made. It is extremely important that this is done within a few minutes of the cut. The cutter and painter must communicate at all times. The dragger will wear gloves and glasses and will work to move cut stems out of the cutter and painter's ways. You should take stems to the assigned collection area. Many of the plants are very thorny and brambly, so care must be taken to ensure safety at all times. Protective clothing is an essential safety measure, including proper shoes, pants, long sleeves, gloves, and safety glasses when needed. Stumps and hillsides are major tripping hazards, so be sure to look where you are going and walk with care. Silverthorn is thorny. Be sure to wear gloves and be careful handling it. Sharp cutting tools are involved in this project. Be sure to wear gloves and maintain awareness at all times. The herbicide we use is approved for use near a wetland. It has a very short half-life. Additionally, it attacks a very specific plant pathway, which is why it must be applied so quickly after the stem has been cut. However, wear gloves when using the herbicide and still maintain caution to avoid getting it on yourself, others, or unintentional plants. Thank you for volunteering to help with our project. We hope you enjoy the chance to positively impact your local environment.